now to a man who's convinced the cures for many diseases can be found in nature. He's helped thousands of people recover from an incredible range of conditions, from severe burns to arthritis, eczema to cellulite, migraines, even hair loss. It sounds too good to be true, but Tim Noonan has found the unorthodox methods of Tom MacArthur are working so well, even the sceptical scientific community is getting on board. I'm about to put my hands in boiling water. People think I'm crazy. It's 100 degrees Celsius, as you can see. I've used myself as a human guinea pig to prove a point. The point is, Tom MacArthur ah! might just be a miracle maker. You get the odd one that um, thinks you're a screaming nutter. And he puts himself in harm's way to prove it. It's now throbbing. Oh, I've cut myself, I've burnt myself, I've uh, made myself ill. It takes about four to five seconds and the pain just dissipates. People can be very sceptical about things like this because it's very, very hard to believe and you really have to witness it. For years he's been laughed at by sceptics. The pain is now going. It's gone. The pain's gone. Yet praised by thousands of sufferers. It's just miraculous. It's a very special gift he has. Most people that have had anything to do with Tom think he's a miracle man. They think he's a miracle worker. He is. He's a magician. I hate to see people suffer. <laughs> he is the real deal. <laughs> There's no doubt about that in my mind at all. He could be the last hope for people with diseases and serious wounds, such as third-degree burns that modern medicine can't cure. This could be a breakthrough in wound management uh, for millions of people around the world. From life-threatening wounds to cosmetic complaints. How does it feel? Cool. No, does it feel cool. Yeah. Patients around the country claim Tom's creams and tonics have cleared up everything from eczema to arthritis and even baldness. We've seen cellulite disappear in 24 hours. We've seen ulcers that have been classified as stage four and in 20 minutes been then said to be stage two. He's worked with people that other people have thrown away. We've actually had a, quite a few cases where they've, they've come in with skin cancer, and yes, we've, we've got rid of it. It all sounds like the spiel of a snake oil salesman. Fruit extract that heals when pharmaceuticals fail. He's cured hundreds and helped thousands. And the evidence is so compelling, some of the country's top professors are now becoming believers, commissioning intense scientific and medical research into some of Tom's secret formulas. Now he's ready to tell the world. Diabetic Gerard Clinch is dancing once again. No small miracle considering the bad blow life dealt him. Doctors told me they're going to amputate. They wanted to amputate. They come to me because they're just about being everywhere else and they're desperate. I didn't know who to turn to. Having already lost three toes to gangrene, he was about to have his left foot amputated. It went from the whole of his toe into his pad. Then Gerard met Tom. That's really good, mate. There's no scarring at all. After just two treatments, the results were remarkable. Healed, totally healed in nine weeks without scars. The docs could not do what Tom could do. Gangrene? I mean, that's supposed to be incurable. Got me back on my feet and I can think positive about it and put a smile on my face. <laughs> I'm not scientifically trained. I'm, I'm not, not a doctor. With only a high school education, Tom MacArthur spent decades making natural medicines in his kitchen, using fruit in ways no one could imagine. If nature has created the disease, I do believe that nature will also provide the cure. His love of experimenting with lotions and potions began in the 60s in the jungles of Borneo serving in the British Army. He witnessed the villagers using natural medicines, namely pawpaw, to heal their wounds. I started thinking, good God, if we could unlock the liquid gold out of this one, it would be on a winner. You know, we could help a lot of people. He then chemically modified pawpaw extract using simple ingredients from his local supermarket, like baking powder and lemonade. What I was looking for was a way of changing the molecular structure to produce something 
that wasn't there. Incredibly, after decades of trial and error, he struck... Liquid gold, mate. He called it Opal A. Why didn't you become a doctor yourself? I haven't got the brains. <laughs> no, I, I chose a different path. I became a, a diesel mechanic. <laughs> Good to see you, mate. But to Tom, fixing people is as simple as fixing machinery. You could actually see the healing happening. Doctors told Pam nothing could be done about the age spots appearing on her face. Probably after four or five days, um, it was reduced to barely, barely a shadow. I, I just thought that for the rest of my life I'm going to be living off um, you know, painkillers. Darren suffered debilitating migraines. Definitely for the last 20 years, I've had them one day to two days a week. Sometimes, as I said, it, it's a lot worse at different times. He took up to eight headache tablets a day to keep the pain at bay until Tom arrived with a special pawpaw-based cream. I put it on, gave it a go. It's been now four weeks and one day since I've had a headache. I've done nothing different, you know, and the only thing that I've done different is put the cream on. At first I was a pure sceptic and I said, no, nothing bloody works. And it didn't, but Tom's did. Norm had psoriasis, a severe skin disease on his face. When he put the, the, his lotions on me, the darn thing, you could see it break up in face, in my face, this one big red mass on the side, it just broke up into three or four pieces. So that's the thing that really shook me. And I've had absolute faith in the man since. They don't realise just how good it is until they start using it. Barbara had lost hope over a skin graft that refused to heal. The colour's coming back into my leg and it's joining up with the rest of my leg. No, I'm delighted with that, Bob. Saved my leg, yes. I've seen some remarkable individual success stories, but then I apply my scientifically rigorous mind to make sure that the product actually works. Professor Michael Woodward is a clinician and researcher for the University of Melbourne's School of Medicine and Austin Health. It's very promising from what I've seen. A world expert in wound management, he's hoping Opal A will help cure chronic wounds, a national epidemic he dubs the elephant in the room. This is a product that could lead to wound healing in those who are otherwise destined to have their wounds forever and ever. So hopeful, he's decided to head up a double-blind clinical trial into Tom's secret formula at the Heidelberg Repatriation Hospital in Melbourne. So double-blind trials provide the most rigorous scientific evidence. We have people who are being treated with the active product and people who are treated with the inactive product, what we call the placebo. The patients we are using in this study have had wounds often for many, many months. We are only allowing people into this study if their wounds are hard to heal. There's millions of people out there with ulcers, bad leg ulcers, and Tom's product can heal them, can actually heal them. It might work on increasing blood supply, and that's why we rub it to the skin around the ulcer. It might also work on changing the various chemicals that are responsible for delaying wound healing or promoting wound healing. All eyes are now waiting on Professor Woodward for medical proof. As all scientists, as all clinicians, I need to see evidence before I believe that a, a treatment works. Nice but I'm not going to be uh, uh, putting my finger into uh, boiling oil to see whether this product can actually heal a burn. And as you can see, the chips are almost cooked. I don't want to put my finger in there. I know it's going to bloody hurt. <laughs> 180 degrees, 182. If you find anyone else that's got the guts and conviction of their own product to stick their hand in boiling fat and burn it, ah! and then put it into his own liquid that will cure that burn, ah! a double dip just to make sure it is burnt. It's not the first time. He's deliberately burnt his fingers in a deep fryer 14 times. You can see the blister forming below. OK, I'm going to dip. A lot of people will look at some of this footage and say, it's a shonk, it's a scam. I get that all the time. I, I just smile and just say, you'll see. The pain is now going. It is uh, uh, amazing that uh, natural products have so many ways of working. I guess that's why they've been around for hundreds of millions of years. Tom says sometimes mending souls is more important than mending wounds. People that are unhappy, try and make them happy. If they're in pain, try and get rid of the pain. That's what it's all about. All he talks about is 
um, how many people this could help. He cares more about other people than he does himself. 80-year-old grandmother Mona is just glad he cared for her. And up until 48 hours ago, I used to wear long pants. I was embarrassed about my legs. But now, brilliant. Her legs were permanently bruised and scarred until Tom came along. Now, look, this, is, this was all black, and now it's pink, look. He just gets joy out of people, Thank you, very you know, much. being able to be healed and, and feeling better about themselves. And to me, that is a mark of a great man. It's absolutely beautiful. Not a problem. Thank you very much. How many people do you think you've cured? Hundreds and hundreds. Tom's retired now, living all alone in Harvey Bay, Queensland. Sadly, his wife and co-inventor, Linda, passed away just ten weeks ago. But in her memory, Tom will continue on. I'll do this till um, I die. I don't call myself a miracle maker. I'm not Jesus Christ or anyone else. I just believe it's a miracle that I found it. I believe antibiotics will fail in the future because the viruses are getting stronger and immune to what we're producing now. So eventually, they'll still have to go back to the jungles and the forest to find a replacement. We've only unlocked the tip of the iceberg. Now, we'll keep you informed about that clinical trial. That was Tim Noonan reporting. And also, you can find all the details on that story on our website.